Hey everybody, it's Matthew here. Welcome back to another video on my channel today. Today in this episode, guys, I am going to be ranking all five Marvel, Marvel Phase 5 MCU projects that we have so far, as a matter of fact. And so, yeah. Um, so now we have five different Marvel projects in the MCU, um, as a matter of fact, and I'm going to be ranking all five of them, um, as a matter of fact. Share your ranking down below in the comment section, guys. My list is not the right list, it's just my list, and I would love to see your list as well, as a matter of fact. But, but before we get into the ranking, guys, be sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with your friends, because that would really help out my channel greatly. And also, guys, those of you guys that are new to the channel, I do more than just movies and physical media related content. I also do Lego related stuff and video games, all sorts of stuff like that, guys. So if that kind of stuff is your speed to watch on YouTube, guys, please make sure you go watch all my other videos. Give a couple my other videos a chance, guys. And if you do end up liking this channel, guys, please do Give this video a big huge thumbs up, leave a like and a comment, and be sure you hit that red subscribe button, but most importantly, press that notification bell so you don't miss a single upload in the future, as a matter of fact, guys. And those of you guys that are not new to the channel, if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you go subscribe after this video, guys. Without any further ado, guys, enjoy the video. Let's get started. Okay, so, um, so yeah, I do want to say this for, I do want to say, I do want to point this out real fast, guys, that I enjoy all, f I've been enjoying all five of these fa Phase 5 projects so far, as a matter of fact, so, so in my opinion, there's no bad one, as a matter of fact, but, but so yeah, guys, so let's get started. Coming in last place at number five, um, I, I actually had to put Secret Invasion, so now, I know a lot of you guys put this one in last place, but, but, and I know a lot of you people didn't really, I know a lot of you guys didn't really like Secret Invasion at all, but, but for what it was, I kind of enjoyed it for, for what it was, but, but to tell you the truth, um, it wasn't one of, but to, but I will agree though that it wasn't one of the, it wasn't one of the, it wasn't like a top five or a top three or anything like that sort of MCU show. Um, I actually thought they did a good job on um, on this show, as a matter of fact. Um, my issue is with the Marvel um, TV shows is I feel like they don't really have a lot of action in them, and I feel like they need more um, action in them. And, and that's kind of how I felt with... Um, with the first season of Loki, and um, that's that's how I felt about Moon Knight. Even I mean, I mean, Moon Knight was was one of the hardest TV shows for me to talk about because because yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm comparing it to show to some of these other Marvel shows that didn't have a lot of action, and I'm like, like I I enjoyed She Hulk. I know a lot of you guys hated She Hulk, and I did like the Hawkeye show. Um, as well, as a matter of fact, but, but for this one, personally, out of all the Phase 5 projects, this one was probably the one that was the least interesting to me, but I still liked the show for what it was, but, but, um, but, but to tell you the truth, all five of these Phase, pro phase 5 projects are really good, as a matter of fact, so, so yeah, unfortunately, this one was the one that had that I had to put at the bottom. Coming in fourth place, this is probably going to be a hot take for for most of you guys, and I'm going to have to say Loki Loki season two is um is at number five. As a matter of fact, is at number four because so now I know a lot of you guys loved Loki and um. But, um, to tell you the truth, I did not, like, if you guys did see my review of Loki Season 2, you guys might already know that, that, um, that the first season broke my heart. I, 
I um I didn't I didn't really like the first season of Loki at all because I thought the first season was was really slow um as a matter of fact and um and um the second season is the one that I thought did it right because it had more action in it it wasn't it wasn't slow like the first season was, in my opinion. Like if it like if it was just like the first season, in my opinion, it um it wouldn't be it um it probably would um would be at number five because because I did not like the first season of Loki, like I just said, but um the second season is the one that made me like this show more. I I don't I still don't love this show like a lot of you other like a lot of you other folks out there but but the second season um did it right and with that in mind I come to appreciate um Loki so much more and I think I think season 2 doesn't deserve to be in last place and when I redo my MCU tier list, this show will not go on the bad tier anymore, as a matter of fact. So, unfortunately, it comes in at number four, because I don't love this show like um like most of you other guys did. Coming in and neck coming in at third place is Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. So now if you guys have followed me for any amount of time as a Marvel fan, you guys know um, I'm a big Thor fan, a big Captain America fan, a big Doctor Strange, Black Panther, Guardians of the Galaxy, and a big Ant-Man fan. All six of those guys are my favorites. And um, to tell you the truth, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania was my favorite. So now I hear this movie got so much hate and mixed reviews. And a lot of you guys didn't appreciate this movie very much. And I'm going to explain why I enjoyed this movie. Because, because from the first two Ant-Mans, it, um, it, it, um, it, it cling, it puts together two stories that we didn't already know because it it explains why Darren is not dead because when he got banished to the quantum realm in um and the first Ant-Man movie he turned he came down there and turned into Mon Mon Monarch and then he be and then he lived in the con the quantum realm for um um for forever as a matter of fact because he got sent down in there and then when the wasp's mom was wa was lost um in the um in the quantum realm um she explained everything was explained on what happened down there who she met and what entirely was going on and that bad guy he was tough and i'm not so sure if we're I have a feeling we're going to see him come back eventually, but I'm not entirely sure if he's going to come back eventually. I feel like he's gone, but I could be wrong, but I've heard some theories out there that he's going to come back. So now, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, in my opinion, is the best Ant- excuse me, is the best Ant-Man movie because because I like how it ties everything together that was said and described in the first two movies, as a matter of fact. I loved the second movie. The first one, I, f I felt the same way like I did with the first Captain America and the first Doctor Strange, because both of those movies were really, were really slow like they just like they just had like it like they had like it starts out slow and then had action it goes back to being slow and then it goes back to having action again so i kind of felt that same way but only 
the first Ant Man was a little weird. Like um, like um, like I didn't think the first one was boring. I thought it was weird. It had good action. It had it was weird, and then it had good action. So I had I kind of had a similar review um to um to what I thought about with the first Doctor Strange and the first Captain America though. So so yeah. Coming at number two, our runner-up is the Marvels. So, so to tell you the truth, guys, I did not hate this movie at all. Like, I was expecting to not like it because it didn't look as good as, as all the other Marvel movies have been, in my opinion. And I say that because, because I did not think it was time to bring all three of these characters back on, on screen together yet. Because, because if you guys remember in Endgame, um, the shield, um, Cap Steve Rogers gave up the shield. And then our new Captain America was um what was um was in was introduced in in Falcon and the Winter Soldier because because we didn't know who's gonna we don't know who's gonna lead the Avengers now so we don't know if Steve Rogers is gonna come back we don't know if Falcon's gonna be leading the Avengers we don't know if the new Captain America is gonna be leading the Avengers and we don't know if Captain Marvel is going to be leading the Avengers, and it to and to tell you the truth, I feel like this movie shouldn't have been a setup for um. I feel like this movie shouldn't have been a setup for one of for the for the next Avengers movie that we're getting. Same thing with Captain America: Brave New World. I don't think it's time for that one to come out next year. I feel like. They, they probably should save that one until the next Avengers movie comes out, as a matter of fact. But I loved this movie, as a matter of fact. Because, because seeing all three of these characters on screen together, I thought was a blast. And it had a lot of funny parts to this movie. And I would love to see this movie... Again, when it goes up, when it come when it comes to Disney Plus, because I will be I am willing to watch this movie over and over and over again because I enjoyed everything about this movie, and I'm hoping that the African American lady I forget her name all of the all of the time but in the post credit scene spoiler alert if you haven't seen the movie sorry um we actually saw her in an ER room so i'm hoping she is going to come back cuz that makes me believe that she is still around and she is still alive as a matter of fact so i'm hoping all three of these girls will come back on screen together at some point as a matter of fact but coming in at number 1 if you guys have followed me and a bunch of other Marvel fans when we ranked the Phase 5, all of the MCU Phase 5 projects so far, um, you guys guessed it. It is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. So now, I am, I am one of the many Marvel fans that has enjoyed this movie. It was... Seeing the building everything, building everything up on these characters for the for this third film is is so phenomenal. And I enjoyed this movie, seeing Rocket's backstory, and I felt sorry for him, but I still but I still thought it was I, I was still I I was glad that we finally got to see where Rocket came from. And I highly enjoyed this movie. I want to watch this movie. I have watched this movie a couple of times already. 
and I will watch it again because of how amazing this inclusion was to the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 trilogy, as a matter of fact. And I'm very excited to see Star-Lord return, and it comes in at number one on my list. That is it for this video, guys. In case you were wondering what my Chris, what my sweater is, it's it's a Christmas sweater with Chunk from the Goonies doing his um, truffle shuffle. Um, so yeah, I actually got this at Fred Meyer's, and I actually thought it was fun, and so I was I managed to get it as a matter of fact because I just thought it was a fun little sweatshirt. But that is it for this video, guys. Be sure to share your ranking down below in the comment section on and what is your favorite phase five mcu project so far as a matter of fact share your ranking down below in the comment section guys again my list is not the right list it's just my list and i would love love to see your list as well as a matter of fact guys but without a doubt guys um that is going to do it for this episode as a matter of fact guys be sure you like comment and subscribe and share this video with your friends because that really help on my channel greatly. And also, guys, those of you guys that are new to the channel, I do more than just movies and physical media-related content. I also do LEGO-related stuff, video games, all sorts of stuff like that, guys. So if that kind of stuff is your speed to watch on YouTube, guys, please make sure you go watch a couple of my other videos. Give a couple of my other videos a chance, guys. And if you do end up liking this channel, guys, please do... Give this video a big huge thumbs up leave a like and a comment and be sure you hit that red subscribe button but most importantly press that notification bell so you don't miss anything in the future and those of you guys that are not new to the channel and if you haven't subscribed already please make sure you go subscribe as soon as this video is over guys but then if there were new guys i'm gonna go get bring you back to more videos because more videos are on the way sooner rather than later as a matter of fact guys and with that any further ado guys take care drink water, and stay safe, and I will see you all in the very next video. Bye!